What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Paul Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Paul Rowe and What's the Numbers is I providing. Today, we're talking about William Big Truck Robinson out of Long Island. Around the year 2008-2009, he was in on the DVD circuit trying to get his name up, trying to get his foot in the door, basically create a buzz within his music industry out of the New York City area. He was from Long Island, so he was linked up with his man out of Brooklyn, Cav Law, and for some reason, they had an issue with Uncle Murder at the time. Now, Cav Law also rapped and made DVDs, so they was trying to get next to Uncle Murder the whole time to try to basically tell him why, what their issue was. And that happened at a performance Uncle Murder was doing at this showcase. Now, Sub Zero got the footage on his on the DVD, one of the DVDs he dropped. And in the footage, you see Uncle Murder performing, and eventually Cav Law and Big Truck try to rush the stage. Now, they get on the stage, it's like a little face off between Dumb and Uncle Murder with security in the middle. Security eventually pushes Cav Law and Big Truck off the stage and out the club. Now they got footage of them outside the club talking about their issue. What's the issue with Uncle Murder? They bring up Pat Poos name because at the time Uncle Murder and Pat Poos was going at it. And they just, you know, saying what the issues is and what they want to relay to Uncle Murder and why they were trying to get next to him. So once that hits the net, you know, it's a big deal because everybody was so infatuated with beef, DVD beef at the time. And little rappers beefing during that whole world star YouTube era, DVD era. So they on doing all the DVDs, saying why they got beef with Uncle Murder, doing this DVD, that DVD, telling different parts of the story. So a few months after the club incident, Cav Law is getting killed downtown Brooklyn. Now they saying he hopped out his car, went to go talk to a promoter or like a distributor that sold DVDs or mixtapes, and he ended up getting a little argument with a group of people and shot in the chest. He ends up dying. Now for what I know, that case is still unsolved. Nobody's never been arrested for that. So Cav Law out of Brooklyn ended up getting killed. So now it gets quiet for a few months, and eventually Big Truck resurfaces on the YouTube DVD scene. Now, he's still touching on Uncle Murder. This is after Cav Law died. He still got an issue with Uncle Murder, but now he got somebody else in his sights that he's talking about, which, go, which is Busta Rhymes. Now, if you know, Busta Rhymes is also from Long Island, so Cav Law at one point was running with Busta Rhymes as far as like in his entourage, trying to get his feet wet and, you know, learn the ropes. So I guess it wasn't moving fast enough for him, and Busta Rhymes ended up going, ended up being on his bad side. And this is where it's at at the moment. He's starting to talk with Busta Rhymes in different DVDs, and telling the issues that he has with him. Now, after the, the, the Busta Rhymes and all that, he ends up moving upstate New York around 2010 to like connect to the Albany area. And almost immediately, immediately once he moves up there, he catches a case. Now, <clears throat> initially, it's looked at as like a he ended up cutting somebody, was trying to rob somebody, assault somebody, he ends up slashing somebody, gives him 36 stitches. He ends up going to trial, gets convicted, and faces 8 to 25 years. But it eventually comes out that the people was trying to actually rob him, and it was self-defense. So, as, as, as after the conviction, when he's waiting to get sentenced, the victim and the, the changed, their, changed their story. Then the sentencing is put off for a little while. And to, the, to eventually the whole conviction is at stake to being overturned because of the new evidence. So I never seen, I, I try to f see what exactly happened with that case. It, it never really says, so I'm guessing he either got thrown out or he got time served or something. But even after, a few months after that in 2011, because that last case was 2010, in 2011, he, his little brother ends up getting killed in upstate New York. He gets shot, 23 years old at the time, Rashad Robinson. He gets shot outside a ball and killed. So... Not even 36 hours later, they're saying that Big Truck basically went looking for retaliation and shot up a car with multiple people in it. Now, he did hit somebody, but it wasn't life-threatening, the, the injuries, but he still got charged with assault, um, possession, attempted murder, a bunch of different charges, and was facing a, 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 a lengthy prison sentence. So, he ends up copping out to assault in the first degree, or the second degree, one of them, I know at the end of the video, he ends up copping out to an assault charge. And get sentenced to 15 years. So, you know me, I wanted to make sure everything was still, see where he, if he was locked up still, see when his parole date was, see when he got released, you know. And um, I saw, I, was, I put it on the inmate locator and I found him. He's currently locked up in Collins Correctional Facility. He's been there since about 2012 on the assault on the first degree charge. And his earliest release date is September 21st of 2024. And his maximum, his maximum release date is November 13th of 2026. So he's currently right now serving the 15 years for that shooting and his maximum release date is 2026. His earliest release date is 2024. So there you go. That's Big Truck. If you remember Big Truck out of Long Island, 
He might be the first one of the first clout chasers that we had as far as like trying to get his buzz up off of somebody else. That's what you guys call a clout chaser nowadays. He was doing that back then. And um he lost it. Cavalon was getting killed throughout that whole time of you know running reaching for the for the fame and the limelight. His man was getting killed. Not saying it was anything that was related, but you know how it goes when you when you chasing that dream. And um eventually he ended up beefing with but with Buster Rhymes. He moved to the state, ended up getting to some issues of state, and he's currently serving fifteen years. As you know by this video and you see by the footage and the documents I posted up. So yeah, this was the numbers TV, man. I just want to do a new profile piece. You know, I like switching it up a little bit. I'm at I'm at 11k subs, almost a, almost at 12. I'm trying to hit 15 before you know it. So if you guys subscribe, I appreciate y'all. If you subscribed already, you already know I appreciate y'all being you've been rocking with me from the beginning. It's all love on my side. But yo, this is Paul Rose, this is What's the Numbers TV? I'll be back before you know it. I'm out of here. Peace.